Good evening everyone and welcome to the Faculty of Science and Technologies Faculty Awards 2021, an evening of recognizing academic excellence. I am Marvadine Singh Wilmot and I am your moderator for the afternoon's program. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way we live, learn, work and do business. And while this moment in time is a period of great challenges, I would say, it is also a period of great opportunities. Opportunities which as scientists and students of science, we are positioned to embrace. So if ever there was a time to feel pride in the study and practice of science, if ever there was a time to immerse in scientific education, research, innovation, if ever there was a time for all of society to embrace the scientific method as a way of doing things, a way of solving problems, a way of coordinating a global response to a pandemic. If ever there was a time for the role of science in society to be elevated, that time, ladies and gentlemen, is now. And you, our brightest and best, our stars, our students of the FSD, you must embrace your extraordinary role in solving these extraordinary global challenges. We must also embrace change. And change has come to our Faculty Awards ceremony. This year, we are virtual, broadcasting on Uimona Media's YouTube platform. This evening, I extend special welcome to our guests, our awardees, and all the family members who have been able to join in the celebration. Our Dean, Professor Michael Taylor, and all FSD staff, including your lecturers, celebrate you this evening. The principal of the Mona campus, Professor Dale Weber, is also here to join in the celebration. And I know he takes extra pleasure in being in this faculty. Dr. Shara Watson, Acting Executive Director of the Scientific Research Council, has also come back home to the FSD, and she is our guest speaker this afternoon. Other stakeholders in the UA and the FSD have also joined to salute you and witness the promise and potential of the FSD. So once again, I welcome all of you and I promise you the afternoon will be well spent. To bring the official FSD welcome, I give way to Professor Michael Taylor, internationally recognized climate scientist and Dean of the Faculty of Science and Technology. Greetings, welcome and congratulations. It is my pleasure to offer welcome to you on behalf of the Faculty of Science and Technology to this, our 2021 Faculty Award Ceremony. The Faculty Award Ceremony is one of the highlights of the academic year. It is the occasion when, as a faculty, we are able to single out students and staff who have made their mark through hard work and dedication to excellence. It is the occasion for showcasing brilliance and productivity and for paying tribute to achievement and success. It is the occasion for saying, well done, your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Though this year we are forced to do this ceremony in a slightly different way, it does not make it any less special or significant. In fact, I would argue that to triumph and do well in the face of the added adversities here brought only heightens the significance of the achievements we celebrate today. So if you are an awardee, whether staff or student, please do bask in the moment. This is not by accident. It is because of your diligence and commitment to work and output of the highest standard. If you are a student watching, maybe in support of a friend, I encourage you to be inspired and I look forward to hearing your name called at a similar ceremony in the near future. If you are a parent, guardian, relative, employer, or friend of an awardee, take a moment in the next few days to tell them just how proud you are of them. But let's get on. So let me end where I began. Congratulations. 
I extend this to you on behalf of myself and also on behalf of the entire Faculty of Science and Technology. Well done, well done. Thank you, Professor Taylor, for that warm welcome and for being such a gracious host as leader of the FSD. Now, it is always a pleasure for me to introduce our next speaker, especially at FSD events. I take pride in bringing him back home. Or maybe I really should not say that because the truth is, Professor Dale Weber has really never left his home here in the FSD. Help me, ladies and gentlemen, to greet Professor Dale Weber, world-renowned coastal ecologist, pro-vice-chancellor and principal of the Mona campus of the University of the West Indies. Members of the Faculty of Science and Technology, greetings to you all. Dean Michael Taylor, Dr. Watson, your guest speaker, members of faculty, students, especially graduate students, my greetings in my capacity as Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of the West Indies, Mona Campus. The Faculty of Science and Technology is a special faculty to me, not just because it is my home, not just because it is where I grew, but because science and technology are critical to the development of this country, this region, so you have an important role to play. I would like to commend the Dean for continuing the tradition of having this on annual awards ceremony where we can share with you the excellence that you have achieved. I really enjoy the faculty awards, not just because it has a departmental set of prizes where each department gets to say something about its students as they rise through the ranks, but because it also offers an opportunity for faculty to be awarded. And we'd like to thank both students and faculty for their continued efforts towards excellence. But I have a very special place for graduate students and graduate awards because it is graduate students and research that separates the University of the West Indies from all our tertiary competitors. You, graduate students and your research, academic staff, faculty and your research, and I mean faculty across, not just academic, but the technical staff, the support staff, you make us who we are. To pause to award is a good thing to do. And I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to share with you my views about how important the fa Faculty of Science is and how important awards are. This has been an exceptionally difficult year, but you have risen to the challenge. You have done things in a way you've never done it before. You have persevered, you have excelled. Those of you on the Dean's Honor List, you should be proud of what you've done. Those of you who have not made a Dean's Analyst but are viewing, it gives you something to strive towards. And as we look towards the future, we know that life will never be the same. But we're counting on the Faculty of Science and Technology to continue giving us that added bit of information, that body of research, that question being answered, pure and applied research, which made a difference in the life of many of us. Please do enjoy your moment, bask in the glory. Take advantage of all that it offers you and don't forget to put it on your resume because you have excelled, you have worked hard. Congratulations to you all and I wish for you a wonderful ceremony. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prof. Weber. FSD's students and staff continue to be flag bearers for the Mona campus and we know that you know the pivotal role the FSD plays in the UAE and our country navigating these challenging times. Thanks always for your belief in and support for our faculty. Now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for some entertainment. I invite you to relax as we celebrate. Celebrate excellence with music from Miss Stephanie Hazel. Climb every mountain, search high and low. Dream that 
Congratulations and all the best. Wonderful, Stephanie, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And now that Stephanie has set the atmosphere and really put us in the mood to receive the guest speaker's message, I invite Dr. Michael Coley, lecturer in the Department of Chemistry, to introduce this evening's guest speaker. Principal. Dean of the faculty, heads of departments, awardees, colleagues, one and all. I take great pleasure in introducing our speaker for today's event. She's a small lady with a big vision for science in Jamaica. She's an example to follow because she has a passion to lead. She is Dr. Shara Watson. Dr. Watson is an outstanding scientist, an innovator, and an entrepreneur. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry and food chemistry, and also a PhD in chemistry, both from the University of the West Indies, Mona. Like you, or awardees, she's an outstanding scholar. She has won many awards for her excellent research, including the International Year of Chemistry Award from the Sao Paulo Advanced School of Natural Products, and also the Third World Academy of Science Young Scientist Award. Her UWI training has prepared her for success, and she demonstrated that competence first at Biotech R&D Institute, after which she served as technical director at Medicanja, Jamaica. Dr. Watson research focus has been on the screening and validation of several folklore medicinal plants for bioactive compounds against cancer, diabetes, and HIV AIDS. Her work on cannabis is well known and she has assisted in developing over 30 products which have been commercialized. As an ethno-medicine specialist, Dr. Watson has contributed significantly to the development of the nutraceutical industry in Jamaica. She's the founder of Kehara Cosmetics, a beauty and wellness company that specializes in creating all natural cosmetics that are designed to enhance beauty naturally. Dr. Watson uses plant extracts, essential oils, and other products to develop unique formulations for the skin, hair, and nails for our typical Jamaican and Caribbean people. In addition to Kihara Cosmetics, she also owns and operates CTW Francis consultancy. Currently, Dr. Watson is, an exec is the acting executive director for the Scientific Research Council. This 
is Jamaica's national agency for fostering and coordinating scientific research and for promoting commercial application of the results. As a product development specialist, active researcher and successful entrepreneur, Dr. Watson is well-placed to apply her skills to lead this national organization into a new era of development. She's a member of the Third World Academy of Sciences, an honorary fellow of Exed Community College, an adjunct lecturer in the Faculty of Medicine, UWI, and is a research supervisor for several graduate students. Dr. Watson believes strongly in using science as a tool for enhancing people's lives. She's the president of the Rotary Club of Ligony Plains, through which she performs service to the community. She firmly believes in living a purposeful and balanced life. And so she finds time to bake, to sew, and she's artistic as well. She's a multifaceted leader, a leader who knows the way and is willing to show the way. From the days of Bunsen burner and round bottom flask to being executive director, what more could we ask? Science paves the way for tremendous success. Awardees, work hard, listen keenly, learn from one of our best, Dr. Shara Watson. Welcome, Dr. Watson. Masters of Ceremony, Dr. Singh Wilmot, Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal for the Uremona Campus, Professor Weber, Dean of the Faculty of Science of Te and Technology, Professor Taylor, faculty members, outstanding awardees, family, friends, and specially invited guests, good evening. I want to first thank Dean Taylor and his team for extending the invitation for me to present to such an exceptional and brilliant group. I think I was asked based on the fact that at some point in time, I was sitting exactly where you are, being recognized for academic excellence. For me, it was the year 2010 to 2011, but for you, it was for the year 2019 and 2020. Being here and having survived 2020 and doing it, ex and not just surviving it, but knocking it out the park and being recognized here for your academic excellence is no minor feat. It shows that you have, res you are resilient, you have grit, and you're determined to succeed regardless of the challenges you face. And for that, I definitely want to applaud you. The year 2020 for some, was crippling but not for you it was the year that you achieved it was the year that you dug deep it was the year that you found your inspiration regardless of the challenges regardless of this mental strain that most of us were, were crippled under you rose to the occasion you made it through and you did not just made it through you thrived through and you're here this evening and i want to just say congratulations to each and every one of you. Now, when I was asked to deliver the keynote address, as I said, it was I was both honored, but I was also scared. <laughs> um, addressing a group such as this, when I know so it's pure brilliant people in the room, it can kind of be a little bit nerve wracking. So bear with me if you see a little bit of nerves. Yeah, I'm, I'm working through it. Um, so in preparing for the address, I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to start in terms of my story and sharing that story. And as you know, my story is continuing. Um, but there are several key things that I think I want to point out and want to share um, with you here this evening. And I will start from primary school. Now, I went to Mona Heights Primary, which is right beside campus here, and I grew up in Mona Commons. Not the housing scheme that is further down beside the theological school, but the one that the informal settlement that is right across from the hospital. Um, while I was going to Mona Primary, we used to do what I think at the time was called phonics. And in phonics, one of the things that we did was to recite um, poems. There were some poems that we recite. And one particular poem stuck with me throughout my entire life, even to this day, but especially was critical for me 
um, while I was in school and preparing myself for the rest of life. And that is Heights by Great Men. Many of you will know it, should know it, I hope. Um, but I'll just recite it here because I said, as I said, I learned it from, I believe, four grade. And I have never, I have not forgotten it. And it has really been a guiding force in helping me to, to dig deep and, and, and work hard. And it is, Heights by great men, rich and kept, were not attained by sudden flight. But they, while their companions slept, were upwards toiling through the night. I know that many of you here can certainly relate to this poem because you lived it. There were many times where your, your colleagues or your, your classmates were, were hanging out, enter, going to the social events and you had to you had to sit back and work right through the night trying to get that assignment done, trying to figure out the issues with your research projects, try, trying to ensure that you will complete and complete in time, but not just that, but complete well and exceptionally well. And I'm, I'm happy that so many of you are here today because it meant that many of you did just that. You dug deep, you went to places and found things that you might not realize you had within you and you achieved but not just achieved but you achieved excellence and we are here recognizing that excellence today i want to encourage each awardee here today to continue to set your goals continue to strive for excellence i remember my first goal um and that for me it might be seen simple for some but it was to make it to university. It was a major goal for me because if you know of my background, you will understand why. Now, I grew up in the informal settlement of Mona Commons, right across from the hospital. Not in the housing scheme, not a little further down, but the, the informal, um, what you would call garrison community. Now, making it to UA was a major goal because there were not many examples of persons from my community who made it to university. Matter of fact, there were not a lot of examples of persons who finished high school. Um, I was fortunate that within my household, I have six brothers, six sisters and one brother. And the very first child that my parents had went to UA. So I had that example. That example was created from within my whole soul because for my, for us and my parents, academic excellence was always demanded. Even though we did not necessarily have the most appropriate environment to facilitate studying and doing work and, and achieving academic excellence, nonetheless, we know that is what was demanded of us, unless you had some other talent. For me, I couldn't sing, I couldn't dance, I couldn't run. So the books were my way. The books were my tool and that is what was encouraged. I was fortunate to be in a household where it was encouraged and I had a good example in the form of my big sister. Um, my other siblings did what they were good at and what their passions were and it, it spanned many things and that it was important. We, My family facilitated identifying the this, the skills and talents of each of us as children. There were, what, seven of us in the household? And each of us went on to do very different things. Um, so I want you, I want to, the takeaway from that is ensure that you can recognize what it is that you're good at and not just what you're good at, but what you're passionate about and strive for that. Very early on, I knew I loved I'm discovering things. I have a creative mind. I like to make things. I was always the one mixing up. I didn't know anything about being a chemist back then. Um, it was doctor, lawyer, Indian chief. That is what most of us knew. Um, so career in sciences was not popular or even known. Um, but I knew I liked to make stuff. I knew I liked to discover things. And I also knew I had to go to UWI in order to do that. Um, when I got to UWI, um, I was very fortunate to have lecturers and role models. It's very important that you find role models in every aspect of your life. It's one of the key to success. Find someone who has done it before you. You don't need to rediscover the wheel. We know it's wrong because someone already discovered that it was wrong. We know that it turns because somebody already discovered it. But you could discover how to make it 
turn even faster or more efficient by learning from someone who has gone through it so ensure that you're able to identify what it is that you want to achieve and identify someone who has gone on a similar path that took them to success that you want to mirror or evil grow beyond and that would be very critical for you and for me i was very fortunate in almost all aspects of my life i always had someone to aspire to in, in getting to UAE, it was my big sister. In terms of my career as a scientist and a, a business scientist, that's what I would like to define myself as. Um, I was fortunate to meet Dr. Trevor Yee, who was my research supervisor, whose guidance to this day I still value and he's still there encouraging and guiding me along my way. And then after Dr. Yee, there was Dr. Lowe. Dr. Lowe gave me my first job after leaving university. He took a risk on me because I was fresh out of grad school. And most of you who have gone to grad school, you know, you're studying a very specific area. Um, so having a PhD didn't necessarily mean that I could take their research program and, and do good with it. But it meant that I had the tools, I had the soft skills. And for me personally, and internalizing what the PhD meant for me was that I was confident in knowing that I can make new discoveries and that I can excel. Um, so I want to encourage you to have that confidence in your abilities. Know that you sitting here this evening means something. It's not just that you worked hard. It's not just that you know your books. It's not just that you did a great research study. It, because it, is, it means that you have certain talents and certain soft skills and you have the mental capacity to manage stressful situations and that will be key to taking you on to other successes in life. Um, so throughout my life, I had to come up with different things that help to guide um, what I do. You must set a standard for yourself. You must know what it is that you want to define who you are and what it is that you do. And for me, I, along the way, um, I redefined what I, I wanted to use for my the definition of me and what I do. And along the way, I came up with um, something that is very simple, just four words now. And it is be great and do great. I want to be recognized as a great person. And that means many things, means I want to be empathetic. I want to be someone who is good, good as in being a good human being. I want to be great in terms of being an awesome human being. And I want to do great, meaning the work that I do and what represents me must not be mediocre. It must not must never be average. And I must always strive to do my absolute best. And by doing so, greatness is more than within my reach. Greatness I can actually touch. I might not be there yet, but I know that is my destination and that is what I'm working towards. And I want to encourage all of you to dig deep and aim exceptionally high. Aim for greatness. It is not beyond you. It is within you because you being here today means that you're already great. Your greatness is already in your DNA and you already have that appetite to continue to be great. Do not settle. Don't ever settle and make sure that you set your standards and you set your targets, but set them so high. Make it scare you. Even saying it out loud that I want to be great is it's a little frightening and it's a little intimidating. And you wonder if, um, do I need to be a bit more humble? But no, be humble in how you deal with people, how you interact with persons. Never be humble in what your aims and your targets and your goals are. So that is what I want to leave with you today. Thank you so much, graduates, for having me. Thank you so much, um, Dean Taylor, for the invitation. It has been a pleasure, and I look forward to the next stage of all of our lives. Continue to excel, continue to achieve, continue to be great and do great. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. 
the powerful, inspiring Dr. Shara Watson. Thank you so much, Dr. Watson, for sharing your journey and for using your story to inspire and motivate our students today. Your message is strong, powerful, and completely in phase with the message we send out from here in the faculty to our students. I see self-belief. I hear conviction. I see hard work and tenacity. And I hear your story far and wide inspiring so many others to come. Let me say that the FST and especially the Department of Chemistry, my department, we are extremely proud of the contribution that you continue to make to the advancement of science in Jamaica. And as your former lecturer, yes ma'am, I remember clearly. I was an assistant lecturer, young out of graduate school, when you just entered our graduate program. We know you will do well in your current role as acting executive director of the Scientific Research Council. Just know how much we appreciate the time that you have taken to share with us this afternoon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have been waiting for, the moment when we bring on the stars, when you get to meet the brightest and the best of the FST, this moment we honor our awardees. We start with the departmental prizes. These will be presented in this order. Chemistry department is up first, and the awards are presented by Dr. Donna Minot Cates, head of the chemistry department. She will be followed by Dr. Daniel Focum, senior lecturer in the department of computing. Dr. Donovan Campbell, head of the department of geography and geology, will announce the departmental prizes in the department of geography and geology, after which Dr. Dwight Robinson, head of the Department of Life Sciences will call the awardees from the Life Sciences Department. Dr. Nagarani Ponakala will come up and she will announce the awardees from the Department of Mathematics. And Dr. Tanisia Stevenson will finish the departmental prizes off. She is the head of the Department of Physics and she will make the announcement of the departmental prizes from the Department of Physics. The Department of Chemistry is pleased to announce the awardees for the 2019-2020 departmental prizes. Receiving the LJ Haynes Award is Justin Gooden. Also receiving the L.J. Haynes Award is Nadisha Pinnock. Receiving the Pavlik Honkan Prize is Chad Buckle. The recipient of the Garfield Sadler Award is Samoya James. The Bert Fraser Reed Award goes to Trudy Clark. Receiving the Willard Pinnock Award is Rochelle McKenzie. The recipient of the Food Chemistry Prize is Shamar Burroughs. Receiving the Kenneth Magnus Award is Nadia Lane. And the Cedric Hassel Scholarship this year is awarded to Salmonet Morgan. The Department of Computing is pleased uh, to award the Ezra Mugisa Award to Matthew Palmer, this is an award to uh, the student with the highest GPA in computing courses through the um, first semester of the second year. This is the first year this award is being offered. And the Department of Computing is pleased to award the Carl Robinson Award to Paul Smith. Uh, this is the student who um, has 
uh, achieve the highest uh, GPA in computing courses through the first semester of the third year. And so congratulations students and thank you for uh, performing so well. The Department of Geography and Geology is pleased to announce the recipients of the following prizes. Brianna Walker, the Charles Alfred Matley Award for Academic Performance. Isabel Chen, the Werner's Azans Award for Best Field Map. Isabel Chen, the Trevor Jackson Award for Best Performance in Igneous and Metamorphic Petrology. Randy Williams, the Raymond Wright Award for Best Geology Project. The Department of Geography and Geology wishes to congratulate the recipients of these prizes. The Department of Life Sciences is pleased to present the following awards for outstanding performance in the life sciences by the following students. For outstanding performance in preliminary biology, the Don Skelding Prize goes to Kareen Barnett. For outstanding performance in animal diversity, the Avinash Potluri Prize goes to Matthew Pierre Andre Rogers. For outstanding performance in level one biology courses, the Charlotte Good Body Prize goes to Matthew Pierre Andre Rogers. For outstanding performance in plant form, the Sasikala Potluri Prize goes to Nahida Rashida Zaman. For outstanding performance in marine biology, the Ivan Goodbody Prize goes to Nasia Lizanne Jones. For outstanding performance in the second year zoology courses, the Vincent Hugh Mackay Prize goes to Nasia Lizanne Jones. For outstanding performance in plant diversity, the Devi Prasad Prize goes to Nikela Melissa Barnaby. For outstanding performance in plant physiology, the Lloyd B. Co. Prize goes to Ronaldo Hugh Summer. The Department of Life Sciences congratulates all its awardees and wish them all the best in the future. Department of Mathematics is very happy to announce the annual award winners. The first prize is the Henry Up Prize. A winner is Akeem Campbell. The second prize, the Marvel Campbell Prize for Level 2, Brian Hines. The third prize is the Department of Mathematics Prize for Level 1, Justin Lynch. And the fourth prize, the Marvel Campbell Prize for Level 1 students, Robert Baker. Department of Mathematics congratulate all these awardees and I'm wishing them success. The Department of Physics is pleased to recognize the following departmental awardees. For the Professor John Lodenqui Prize for Introductory Physics, Justin Gooden. For the Level 2 Departmental Prize, Jason Hunter. For the Level 2 Departmental Prize, Jerome Toller. For the Charlton Foundation Award, Matthew Lee. For the Michael Neville McMorris Prize, Renee Gordon. For the Michael Thermonathan Physics Bursary, Tashika Wilson. And for the Physics Honors Society Award, Tarek Simpson. The department congratulates all the awardees. 
Thank you so much colleagues and congratulations to all departmental awardees. We will now call the academic commendations, Dean's Honor Roll and BSc First Class Honors. The announcement of awardees will be done by Dr. Shireen James Williamson, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Studies in the FSD. Over to you, Dr. James Williamson. The Faculty of Science and Technology is pleased to present awards to the following students for achieving academic commendation for Semester 1, 2019-2020. Brittany Atkinson. Jordan Barrett Chanel Beroni Odin Brissett Brandon Campbell Trudy Clark Kimoy Marie Douglas April Ferguson, Jamelia Gordon, Rajay Graham, Sabrina Graham, Johanna Joy Gray, Tetla Griffiths. Amanda Hammond, Tishona Hewitt, Gabrielle Higgins, Sydney John, Claudine Johnson, Javier Jones. Nikela Kariuki, Rochelle Logan, Margie Main, Shada McDonald, Tashika McKenzie, Rochelle McKenzie. Samoya Miller, Daniel Morgan, Candice Richards, Dana Ashley Roberts, Dexter Small, Latifa Smelly. Lenroy Smith, Andrea Spencer, Brittany White, Theola Williams, Jefina Williams. The Faculty of Science and Technology is pleased to present awards to the following students for achieving academic commendation for Semester 2, 2019-2020. Danan Adamson. Malik Alexander. Kevon Allen. Hassana Al Saba, Tariq Anderson, Shaquan Andrews, Jordan Ashman, Ramalia Ashman, Andre Atkinson. Shanika Bailey, Kareen Barnett, Cheyenne Barnett, Dejon Batik, Nathaniel Berasi, 
Kirkan Piercing Naomi Benjamin Adaj Ajane Billings Jeanette Borland Tashe Bose Brian Brooks Jada Ray Brown Chad Brown Chadwick Brown Averton Brown Cadiz Bryan Chad Buckle Amoy Budai Kemisha Buddington Dijon Burke Patrick Burke Alexandria Burnett Shemar Burroughs Shante Burton Tyra Cameron Deron Campbell Akeem Campbell Kemani Campbell Tiffany Campbell Conroy Campbell Taylor Case Isabel Chen Michaela Christie Moisha Christie Shante Clark Chrisan Clark Alyssa Coy Samoya Cochran Renford Cohen Dinea Cohen Roshani Collins Paul Collins Stephen Coward Todd Crawford Kevoy Daly Carmike Davidson Michelle Davies Sharina Deer Jacqueline Delevaux Lashane Dixon Daniel Dixon Dana Doman Kerry Donalds Kayon Marie Douglas Jordan Drummond Carl Duncan Romeo Duncan Ariane Duarica Malik Edwards Lashonda Edwards Kayla F's Kennard Elliott Tajay Fanus Shannon France Delano Francis 
Milton Francis, Brianna Fraser, Shana Lee Garth, Tia Gale, Rodian Gordon, Sheldon Gordon, Michaela Graham, Tony Ann Graham, Aduku Graham, Nicole Graham, Bradley Graham, Garfield Grant. Savannah Grant, M. Nadi Grant, Shemar Green, Orain Green, Errol Green, Romaine Gray. David Griffiths, Shea Samuel Hall, Morgan Halstead, Cherie Harris, Liana Hayden, Emilia Hayden. Ashley Henriquez, Joel Henriquez, Shemar Henry, Monifa Henry, Chrisanne Henry, Kyle Hernandez, Jordan Hewitt, Justin Holong, Dahelia Howell, Richard Howlett, Daron Jackson, Marlon James. Wayne James, Janelle James, Venice James, Javina James, Sean Jennings, Daniel Jennings. Naphtali John, Nasia Jones, Gabrielle Jones, Mark Anthony Jones, Stephanie Jones, Celine Josephs. Monique Kelman, Juanita Lawrence, Shante Lawrence, Leticia Levermore, Lucan Lewin, Suli Lewin. Nevado Lewis, Daniel Lyle, Philip Llewellyn, Shemar Lundy, Rayon Lynch, Jason Manning. 
Acacia Marsh, Roger Martin, Christopher Martin, Malik Martini, Shave McIntosh, Tiffany McCarthy, Janelle McIntyre, Gabrielle McGee, Danique Merchant, Tamara Mercurius, Samonette Morgan, Kemati Morgan, Don Wayne Morgan, Jeffrey Morris, Michael Ashley Morrison, Tiana Muir, Kelsey Murray, Tiana Myers, Akeem Neal, Jarda Nelson, Daniel Nicol, Alexia Hormsby, Brianna Palmer, Matthew Palmer, Victoria Parag, Ashley Perkins, Alex Perry, Alison Phipps, Georgian Pollock, Donia Pommels, Tamalee Pottinger, Shandale Preddy, Roma Rajwani, Cheyenne Raymond, Janoy Reed, Kimoy Reed, Deandra Reynolds, Latoya Road, Lisan Rule, Chrisan Richards, Michaela Richardson, Servina Ricketts. Roy Robinson, Jaleel Robinson, Nazon Robinson, Christopher Robinson, Mikkel Robinson, Shaquan Robinson. Kalia Lee Rodney, Tonian Rose, Roger Ross, Brittany Salmon, Javed Samuels, Ronique Satchwell. Davina Scott, Komara Shaw, Michelle Sherwood, Javon Simmons, Samantha Simmons, Abigail Simpson. 
Shade Simpson, Levon Smith, Chanel Smith, Ashley Smith, McCoy Smith, Paul Smith, Michelle Spence, Janelle Spencer, Kevisha Stevens, Ariana Stevenson, Tassan Stewart, Maria Soku, Odisha Taylor, Shanta Taylor, Adrian Taylor, David Thomas, Alric Thomas, Gillian Thompson, Shaquille Tinglin, Brandon Tucker, Jerome Tullo, Malcolm Walker, Brianna Walker, Melissa Walker, Shantoy Wallace, Judy Shea Wallace, Romaine Watson, Ashley Wise, Devin Weller, Deandra Wittick, Kimiko Williams, Jordan Williams, Dante Williams, Tamoya Wilson, Janelle Wilson, Lavon Wilson, Katrina Wilson, Garrick Wong, Jermaine Wood, Maisha Woolery, Amarley Wright, Michaela Wright. Quentin Wu, Bradley Ziminez. The Faculty of Science and Technology congratulates all awardees on their excellent work. The Faculty of Science and Technology is pleased to present awards to the following students for making the Dean's Honor Roll for the academic year 2019-2020. Aliyah Johnston, Akili Sterling, Alana Morrison, Alana Page Dixon, Aliyah Mills, Amika Gordon. Anakai Richards, Ashley Cole, Ashley Ann Nelson, Asia Wallace, Aston Harris, Avisha Baksh. 
Bradley Dodd, Brianna Tibby, Byron Haynes, Clifton McCook, Corian Anderson, Crystal Thompson, Dalkeith Thomas, Daniel Mullings, Darian Williamson, David Scott, Dana Lee Plummer, Dimitri Grant, Dolith Chambers, Earlton Bowen, Gabriel Ahrens, Itonia Walker, Jason Hunter, Jason Decam, Jaheel Smith, Gennardo Taylor, Jevon Forrest, Joel Simpson, Jonathan Morris, Jordan Garvey, Jordan Lewis, Jordan Lewin, Justin Gooden, Justin Lynch, Kabian Davidson, Karima Swan, Kino Clark, Kenneth Anglin, Kesna Fairclough, Khadija Clark, Kamoy White, Crystal Graham, Kimani Francis, Lanai Nevers, Laurel Moore, Lauren Roll, Lori Williams, Lorianne Roy, Matthew Pierre Rogers. Michael Goldson, Michael Samuels, Mikhail Riley, Mishka Neal, Monique Henry, Nadisha Pinnock. Nathan Downer, Nathan Beecher, Nathaniel Christie, Nikoi Redwood, Nikayla Barnaby, Nolissa Swaby. Okelia Green, Omari Brown, Othandria Downs, Patrice Campbell, Ramona Roberts, 
Rashawn Crutchley, Rena Jane Sanganu, Rajni Phipps, Rowan Atkinson, Sai Sankirth Naridi, Samuel Morgan. Sarah Barnett, Sashana Nelson, Scott Allen, Sebastian Lawrence, Shea Marie Small, Shane Robinson. Shanice Evans, Chantal Randon, Shavane Clark, Shelby Carr, Shemar Henry, Shanae Lewis. Tashika Wilson, Tarek Strawn, Theodore Bennett, Tiana Walrund, Tracy Gabriel, Travisa Bryant. Vijay Gregory, Winthrop Taylor, Xavier John Bass. The Faculty of Science and Technology is pleased to present the following awards to the following students for achieving first class honors degrees in their respective disciplines. Scott Allen, Tariq Anderson, Rowan Atkinson, Avisha Baksh, Sarah Burnett, Xavier John Bass, Jada Ray Brown, Dolith Chambers, Nathaniel Christie, Nathan Downer, Kayla Fs, Delano Francis, Tracy Gabriel. Rodian Gordon, Garfield Grant, Vijay Gregory, Aston Harris, Shemar Henry, Tishona Hewitt. Gabrielle Higgins, Leticia Levermore, Laurel Moore, Jonathan Morris, Lanai Nevers, Daniela Panton. Dana Lee Plummer, Chantal Randon, Janoy Reed, Candice Richards, Shane Robinson, Lorian Roy. 
Akili Sterling, Tassan Stewart, Odisha Taylor, Malcolm Walker, Tiana Walrand, and Zidane Wright. Thank you so much, Dr. James Williamson. You know, as you called each of those names, we could hear the pride in your voice. We do know that you have worked very closely with these students in their journey, along their journey, their undergraduate journey in your capacity as undergraduate coordinator. And we want to say congratulations to all of these students and to you too. And this, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the Undergraduate Academic Awards. Once again, congratulations to all who have received academic awards at the undergraduate level. So now we transition to the next level, our Graduate Awards. To make these announcements, we call Professor Marcia Roy. Professor Roy is the Associate Dean in the Faculty of Science and Technology with responsibility for graduate studies and research. Faculty of Science and Technology, the Office of the Associate Dean for Graduate Studies and Research would like to congratulate the following students for achievement of their Masters of Science with distinction. Fiona Lewis, Occupation and Environmental Safety and Health. Stacy Ann Grant, Occupation and Environmental Safety and Health. Romari York, Occupation and Environmental Safety and Health. Romaine Thomas, Mathematics. Orain Campbell, Occupation and Environmental Safety and Health. Loney Robinson, Occupation and Environmental Safety and Health. Terry Lee Patterson, Food and Agro-Processing Technology. Roxanne Francis, Mathematics. Henelicia Virgo, Food and Agro-Processing Technology. All Masters of Science with distinction. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you, Prof. Roy. I also know the pride you feel as you recognize outstanding graduate students this evening. I know how closely you have worked and how much hard work you put in to help our graduate students derive the full benefit of their graduate programs and go for the gold. We are very proud, ladies and gentlemen, of all our awardees at both the graduate and undergraduate levels, and we look forward to hearing more about their successes as they continue to grow in their passion for and performance in science. Now, when your light is bright, it shines for others to see. And the FST's staff and students are recognized for their outstanding work both inside and outside of UWE, locally and internationally. To tell you some more about this and announce the awardees, I present to you Dr. Winklet Gallimore, the FST's Associate Dean for Student Experience. This is a category of special awards. Janelle Tomlinson. Prime Minister's Youth Award for Environmental Protection. Ricardo Anderson, Prime Minister's Youth Award for Academics. Dr. Adrian Spence, Special Award from the Government of Jamaica for IPCC Involvement. Professor Nuradine Benkeblia, Special Award for, from the Government of Jamaica for IPCC Involvement. Dr. Donovan Campbell, Special Award from the Government of Jamaica for IPCC Involvement. Christina Doherty, First place 
in the 2020 Democratizing Innovation in the Americas, DIA, Labs Ideathon competition in the crime and security category. Alim Mahabir, first place in the 2020 Democratizing Innovation in the Americas, DIA, Labs Ideathon competition in the crime and security category. Romario Anderson, first place in the 2020 Democratizing Innovation in the Americas, DIA, Labs Ideathon competition in the crime and security category. Professor Michael Taylor, the FST Distinguished Award 2020 in recognition of being named the 2019 Laureate of the Anthony N. Sagba Caribbean Awards for Excellence in Science and Technology. Dr. Nagarani Ponakala. The Bharat Ratna Indira Gandhi Gold Medal Award for Outstanding Individual Achievement in Education and Research for 2019 by Global Economic Progress and Research Association, JEPRA, New Delhi, India. Kushan Amarakun, for outstanding contribution in instruction support systems from the Mona Information Technology Services. Andre Forbes, for his outstanding contribution in instruction support systems for the Mona Information Technology Services. Shakara McRae, for outstanding contribution in instruction support systems for the Mona Information Technology Services. Peter John Lawrence, for outstanding contribution in instruction support systems for the Mona Information Technology Services. Shauna Spence, for outstanding contribution in instruction support systems for the Mona Information Technology Services. Ishmael Preston, for outstanding contributions in instruction support systems in the Mona Information and Technology Services. Absolutely wonderful, Dr. Gallimore. What a proud moment for all of us affiliated with the FSD. The FSD has long been a powerful driver for local and global innovation, development, and leadership. And we thank you for recognizing our students and staff for their outstanding work as partners for local and global development. Now, the truth is that excellence is a way of life here in the FSD and it permeates throughout the faculty among all staff and all students. To demonstrate this, I invite Ms. Rosaline Simmons, FSD Administrative Officer, who will recognize the outstanding administrative, technical and service staff awardees in the FSD. The awardees in the category of administrative, technical and service staff are Mrs. Tracia Johnson Blair for exceptional administrative excellence to the Department of Chemistry. Mrs. Terian Collins Frey, administrative secretary in the Dean's office for outstanding administrative service and excellence to the Dean's office and the wider faculty. Mr. Devon Lewis, Technical Assistant in the Department of Physics for excellence in the service and execution of his duties to the Department of Physics and the wider faculty. Mr. O'Neill Holder, Diver at the Discover Bay Marine Lab for outstanding service and going beyond the call of duty in the execution of his duties to the Discover Bay Marine Lab. Mrs. Winifred Worrell for outstanding support services to the Department of Chemistry. We thank 
as a faculty these outstanding achievers for their excellence, dedication, and commitment to the work of the faculty and the wider university. Heartiest congratulations to all our awardees. Thank you so much, Ms. Simmons. We are especially proud of these awards because we know that the FST is all that it is just because we have a strong team. And most of the times, it is lecturers and students who are seen by the public. But we know that we are only able to deliver excellent service to the world because of the strong team that we have through the administrative, technical, and service support. So congratulations again to all awardees in this category. Now, having witnessed the excellence of our students, you have had an idea, you've, you've just got a window into the healthy and empowering academic environment here in the FST, which fosters their growth. You know, as they say, iron sharpens iron. Well, FST lecturers, they are the ones interacting in the lecture halls, in the labs. They are the iron sharpening our students through research and teaching. And they are the scientists who are involved in the creation of new knowledge and application of science in solving the problems of society. They are leading this process. So in this segment, we recognize some of the FST's top researchers. We recognize excellence in research. To announce the Principal's Research Day awardees, I invite Dr. Kimberly Stevenson, graduate coordinator in the Department of Life Sciences and herself an outstanding researcher and lecturer in the FST. The Faculty of Science and Technology congratulates the recipients of the Principal's Research Awards 2020. For the category of Best Research Publication, Professor Mona Weber, Miss Diana Rose, Professor Mitko Vuchkov. Professor Norudin Benkeblia. Mr. Dava Sanderson. Dr. Tamika Royal Thomas. Dr. Tanya Carr. For the category of most outstanding researcher or research activity. Dr. Andrea Goldson Barnaby. Dr. Peter Nelson. Dr. Venkatswara Penagonda. For the category of best project attracting most funds, Professor Michael Taylor. Dr. Tanisha Stevenson. Dr. Kimberly Stevenson. Dr. Dale Rankin, Mr. Patrick Lewis. For the category of research project with greatest business, economic or development impact, Dr. Arpita Mandal, Dr. Roseanne Smith, Dr. Tanisha Edwards, Dr. Robert Kinlock, Professor Simon Mitchell, Professor Mona Weber, Ms. Patrice Francis, Mr. Camilo Trench, Dr. Adrian Spence. The faculty congratulates all the recipients. Ladies and gentlemen, they say all good things must come to an end. But I am going to say good things end so better things can begin. So we have finished with the presentation of awards and we have ended with all that we have to say. Now the better thing is that our students will speak. I invite Mr. Kesna Fairclough from the undergraduate body to reply on behalf of the awardees. 
He will be followed by Mr. Nathan Downer from the graduate student population who will make his contribution with a presentation to keynote speaker Dr. Shara Watson. A musical rendition will follow from Mr. Edgar Bailey and Orain Campbell, another of our FST's graduate students, will move the vote of thanks. I will see you on the other side of our students' presentations. Principal, Professor Dale Weber, Dean of the Faculty, Professor Michael Taylor, Heads of Departments, Master of Ceremony, Dr. Marva Dean Singh Wilmot, Guest Speaker, Dr. Shara Watson, Administrative Staff, Awardees, Parents and Guardians, Ladies and Gentlemen, a pleasant evening to you all. Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is not an act, but a habit. It is the long sleepless nights, the resilience to persevere when faced with hard times, and even the discipline to stay awake and alert in seemingly daunting lectures that have planted and nurtured the habit of excellence in everyone being awarded today. I would like to ask everyone present this evening to try to visualize the hard work, sleepless nights, and dedication that each awardee had to put in, in order to be recognized today. On behalf of the awardees, I would like to thank the Dean, Professor Taylor, the Associate Deans, Heads of Departments, Lecturers, and the Administrative Staff who deemed it necessary to acknowledge our efforts to be above average in our pursuit of a world-class education and training from the University of the West Indies. To my fellow Dean's List and Academic Commendation Award recipients, the academic year 2019-2020 was no doubt one of the most turbulent years in our academic careers. Yet, we faced every challenge with all our hearts. We tackled our many limitations and we surpassed them. We met our adversities and we stood firm. Let this evening be proof that we are the light shining from the West, destined for greatness. To the first class honors awardees, you are the 8% of graduates who managed to achieve the highest honors in the toughest faculty from a university whose reputation has never been greater. This is no small accomplishment and has the power to propel you to great heights in your academic and your education and your career pursuits. First class honors graduates, wherever life takes you, be a force for positive change. Do something that nobody else has ever done. Go for it and conquer the world. Show that a UEFST education is next to none. To the Faculty of Science and Technology professors and researchers performing cutting edge research, it is your exemplary work as lecturers and mentors that has inspired and motivated us to strive for excellence in all that we do. It is also your high impact research that has significantly contributed to the UE's reputation as a top ranked global higher education institution, something that we are all very proud of. For this we say many thanks and we continue to look to you as we work together to develop innovative solutions to solve societal challenges. Last but not least, to the parents, guardians, and loved ones who encouraged, motivated, and inspired us to be our best selves, we say thank you. It is your endless devotion, sacrifice, and commitment that has afforded us the opportunity to be here today. Hence, our success is your success. As we congratulate you today, we continue to show our gratitude by taking full advantage of the opportunities that you have provided us to create a successful future for ourselves. Awardees, today as we enjoy the fruits of last academic year's labor, let us continue to sow seeds of excellence through hard work, dedication, and perseverance in the face of adversity 
so that we can become inspiring leaders, contributing positively to our region. As we continue to grow ourselves individually, let us represent and promote the UE Faculty of Science and Technology wherever we go in the world. I thank you. Dr. Watson, we'd like to take this time right now to say thank you so much for being with us today. We know that as the Acting Executive Director of the Scientific Research Council, that there'd be a lot on your plate. And so it makes us all the more grateful that you could be with us. We'd also like to say thank you for sharing with us those words of encouragement and inspiration. I'm sure that the faculty members and students present with us would all agree that given our current context, they're especially fitting. In a pre-COVID world, I believe this would be the time I'd hand to you a nice basket as a token of our appreciation, but we're not in the same space, sadly. But rest assured, there is still a token on its way to you in the mail, so you can look out for that. But again, we'd just like to express our thanks and to wish you all the best in your current and future endeavors. I could reach If I could reach Higher Just for one moment Touch the sky From that one moment in my life I'm gonna be Stronger I've tried my very best I put my spirit to the test If I could reach higher Just for one moment touch the sky From that one moment in my life I'm gonna be stronger Know that I've tried my very best Put my spirit to the test If I could reach Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal Professor Dale Weber Dean, Faculty of Science and Technology Professor Michael Taylor Associate Deans, Chair 
Dr. Marvadine Singh Wilmot, keynote speaker Dr. Shara Watson, heads of department, lecturers, other administrative staffs, specially invited guests, parents, family members, and awardees. Good afternoon. I deem it a great privilege to have been asked to extend a vote of thanks on this occasion under the theme Recognizing Academic Excellence. This day will be remembered as a milestone, but also it proves that we are adaptable, innovative, and creative even during a pandemic. To Professor Weber, we express gratefulness for the time you have taken to greet the FSD awardees. We are extremely thankful to Professor Taylor for the welcoming speech and his dedication to the faculty. Our words may not be capable of communicating our sense of gratitude to Dr. Shara Watson, a fellow Pelican from the Faculty of Science and Technology. We thank you for lending us some of your time to address the awardees with what was a motivational, inspirational, and engaging speech. To our lecturers, we appreciate you and salute you for continuing to be here for us. You are the cornerstone of our achievements. We cannot forget the invaluable contribution of Dr. Marvadine Singh Wilmot for the energy she brought while moderating and to everyone who have contributed directly or indirectly to make this virtual award ceremony a success. A hearty thank you. To the parents and the family members of the awardees, thank you for your unconditional support. Finally, to my fellow awardees, well done. I challenge you all to continue to strive for excellence. Let excellence be your brand and remember, we are what we repeatedly do. To all our awardees who recently graduated, we encourage you to be a part of the UE Alumni Association, where your contribution will aid in the support of academic excellence. To everyone, stay safe, don't forget to sanitize, and wear your mask. Thank you. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now you have got a chance to hear them speak. From wherever you are in the world, I ask you to join with me in giving all our awardees, especially our student awardees, a big round of applause. It has been a great honor and pleasure for me and all of us here at the FST to spend this afternoon with you in fine style and to show you the excellence that lies within the FSD. But if we have seen further, it is indeed because we have stood on the shoulders of giants. And we want to take this moment to acknowledge some of the FSD's giants who sadly have passed on in this last year. Dr. Willard Pinnock, master teacher, physical chemist, world-renowned for his work in the area of physical chemistry, lecturer in the Department of Chemistry. Professor Tara Dasgupta, former head of the Department of Chemistry, leader of the Pesticides Research Group and world-renowned physical chemist. Professor Henry Ellis, former head of the physical chemistry section in the Department of Chemistry and yet another of our outstanding, internationally recognized physical chemist. Mr. Peter Gale, who served as principal scientific officer at the Discovery Bay Marine Lab. Ms. Tane Sang, office attendant at the Port Royal Marine Lab. Ms. Yvonne Francis, office attendant in the Department of Mathematics. And Abril Makala, student in the Department of Geography and Geology. Please join me, ladies and gentlemen, in observing a minute of silence in respect of our colleagues and students 
in respect of these giants. Thank you very much. Now I join with Arane to thank all who have made this evening possible, all who have made the broadcast possible. A lot of planning has gone into this event and there are extra challenges with a virtual broadcast like this one. And the team, I think, they have put their shoulders to the wheel as we always do in the FSD and have delivered for us an extraordinary evening. So the, from the head of departments, all of the head of departments, their administrative support to the dean and the faculty office, the team at the faculty office, and I have to say a personal thank you to Mrs. Terry Ann Collins Frey. Always Terry, such a pleasure to work with you. You exemplify excellence and dedication, working hours into the night to get everything right. And of course, we've got to say thank you to all our students, to all the family members who are out. Thank you, everyone. But before you go, I ask you to reflect for a moment on the contributions and talents of our students and staff, past and present, our stars and our giants, the excellence on show here this afternoon. I know you, like me, are leaving with a renewed sense of hope in the future of Jamaica and the world and pride in this faculty that we are all associated with. In all of you, our awardees, we see the UWE, a light shining from the West, and we see the FSD, in the words of our Dean, your place for science knowledge, research, and solutions. Thank you for joining Faculty Awards 2021, an evening of recognizing academic excellence. Do enjoy the rest of the evening, keep safe, and make sure I see you again next year for FSD Faculty Awards 2022.